What's going on? What's going on, man? It's your boy. Man, I definitely wanted to jump on here, you know what I'm saying? Just uh just really just talk about a few things. Maybe just talk about one thing, but um you know, definitely wanna talk a little bit about the um the ambush of two Compton police officers that happened last night. Um I think they got photographed, they got video. It was a, basically a, a lone person went up to the cop car, bus bus shot, shot both two cops in the car. Um, they shot one in the head, other one like in the chest area, whatever like that. So like they're in critical condition, and everything else. So right now there's a like, you know backlash of people talk about you know, Black Lives Matter protesting was at the hospital, talk about um, let them die. Or, now that I think is false. If, it, if, if there's people saying that, that's, they're not really. Um, I'm going. To, I'm going to go on and co-sign this one, but I don't think that they're really those are actual Black Lives Matter protests, especially black people in the hospital where these two cops are uh, critical um, in critical condition. Is about one of them to die now? Now, do I have my uh, my personal belief in it of cops and stuff like that? Yeah, you know, there's a karma and there's an eye for an eye. You know, you have many of these cops are killing unarmed black people. So, yeah, it's going to be a, a certain type of degree of retaliation. That's just what it is. Um, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't really, I don't really, uh, yeah, retaliation, um, that has probably proceeded. I'm sorry for the uh, the cut, man. That something came up real quick. I have to take care of. But uh, yeah, but just to, like I said, I mean, I don't really have discontent. I do have discontent of the law enforcement. I still believe in defunding law enforcement. I also believe in reparation for Black America, descendants of American slavery, the U.S. Foundation of Black America. All pretty much the same coin of, of, of identification of people that you're talking about, but I believe in black agenda reparation. I believe in defunding uh, law enforcement or disarming them in lethal weapons. Also, I mean, I, or, or or dismantling of uh, even the apparatus in like police unions or or the certain other type of. Uh, um, entity that back the these law enforcement agencies. Um, but like I said, man, it's karma. It's eye for an eye. Um, you know, a lot of people talk about Black Lives Matter. I'm like, look, man, I know, like everybody else, no Black, you know, Black Lives Matter is more like a use of a it's a it's a use of a general term or generalization of Black people. Understand that. As an organization, that's not really a black organization. That is, that is an intersectionality. That is heavy liberal and heavy LGBTQ oriented. So that has really nothing to do with me or millions like me. That have nothing to do with us. So if the people and white, um, if you if you really want to think about it, go to Portland. Go to certain areas uh, in America that don't even have a black significant population and they're just just riot just a riot almost but um, it's not in the name of black people at all you know what I'm saying so if, if you got people talking about um, let them die I, I'm, I'm, I'm being honest when I say this and very frank when I say that that's really the people that's doing is not black at all. If there's some black people that are, what can I say? But a majority of black people is not standing outside of that hotel demanding death or wanted uh, wanted death for the for too long for uh, cops. I'm just what it is. Um, that's really what all I really want to say about say about it. Uh, I just want to get that out the way. Um, also, too, I wanted to really get on the um, about the Latino 
vote. And I, that's why I, I've been telling people about Hispanics and the Hispanic Latin vote is very fractured. It's not really a very consistent or a solidarity, solid type of voting block because you got, you got many different types of verities within that term that don't really see each other in eye to eye. I think they did a poll, I think over 50%. Um, over at least around 50% is voting for is going to vote for Trump in Florida. Um, they also did a um, and also a, a poll or survey um, with the Hispanics or whatever um, if they support other Hispanic Latinos from Central America or even South America to you know claim asylum and. You know, some, some, some said, because you got Republicans, you got some Democrats, but the majority, I think like it was like almost 30, it was almost 40%, close to 40%, um, 40% said, no, they did not support those Central Americans of uh, getting a, a asylum. So that lets you know right there that the, 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 the solidarity among Hispanics and Latinos is very fractured and very, very, very small. I mean, it's not really almost like a people. Even even if you if you look at them in in a way, they'll tell you that we're they're they're not a people. Even though they are a, a, a ethnic, it's an ethnic group. It's a it's a mixture. It's a racially mixed group, but it's more of an ethnically group. When you think of it, when you look at the term Hispanics or or Latin or whatever like that, they still, I mean, even though Latin is more of a broadened uh, statement, it's still a European uh, subgroup. So they still identify culturally by language, by origin, by certain type of customs that they are still European. I know a lot of them do say, uh, they're indigenous, but like, let's let's be real. Let's be honest a little bit. Um, their their food is some of their food is indigenous um, because of what the food or the crops that is native to that land that they've been growing for you know for centuries or whatever been growing for centuries or even millenniums. Uh, but really, of indigenous cultures and everything else, they rarely see them practice that. Um, you rarely see them even speak that. Um, so that's why I always say Hispanic lean more into European than, than whatever they talk about you indigenous. That's just my frame of reference. But, um, like I said, man, Democrats are in trouble. Like I said, they did a poll. They said, and Florida is a, is a swing state. Um, there's, and this young progressive voting block they're talking about, it's a very small voting block, and a lot of that, a lot of that inter move, intertwined with the white vote. So it's still going to be some of them is still going to vote either Trump or either Biden, and many of them is going to stay home. A lot of them not going to even vote. Um, you had what Alexander Cortez, she nominated uh, Bernie. You know what I'm saying? At the convention. And you don't think many of her supporters are going to lean that way as well? That's why I said the Democrats fracture. You saw that at the, at the convention. Um, so Biden really going to win the election. It's, 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 I mean, it's not. It's a, it's a, it's a no-brainer. I mean, it's what it is. I mean, the solid voting bloc who been consistent is the black vote. And you're not really uh, specifically talking about us or even giving us any tangibles. Um, it's just no go. I mean, I know I'm not going to vote for the presidential election. I might. I don't know even know I'm going to vote down down the ballot. That's one thing I do have a disagreement with Yvette as well. I think uh, it's a it, it going it's going to be a um, you know if I vote for that I got. I can't just vote just because it's going, it's going to vote. That's not being consistent. Everybody got to have a black agenda. That's just really, that's my consistent of it. You got to have a black agenda. Not just presidential, but all through down the spectrum. That's just what it is. But 
but besides being the voting block of the, the Latinos or Hispanic voting is going to be the, the solidary block of Democrat, that's, that's it's puff, it's smoke, it's imaginary. You know what I'm saying? It's imaginary at this point. But um, like I said, man, I'll get you. I'll get back with you guys real soon, and um, I'll talk to you guys later. All right, one.